Scorpio. Child, I sound horrible. <laughs> What's going on, my dears? It is me, it is Shiva, it is Viva, it is Scorpion Red Zero. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for March 2021, my dear. We're here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all of my babies, every last one of you who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Um, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading, or if these videos resonate and you want to send some love to the page, go ahead and click the description of this video, or you can click the uh, about tab on my YouTube page and check out all of the information that is there, which gives you all of the helpful links of showing support how to reach out to me the best way to reach out to me is by instagram messenger it has my um reading pricing list and everything that you need all right if you don't have instagram to send me a private message to communicate with me just simply email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com which that information is also listed in the about section on my youtube page okay so scorpio you already know how we're going to do it how we do it all the time we're going to give the father god the universe the creator whatever it is you want to call him praise thanks and acknowledgement before we get into today energy to find out what's going on with you guys for March 2021 so if you wouldn't mind bow your head with me Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Scorpio. Father God, you know that we feel determined and we surely feel victorious, Father God. We've just been powering through, Father. We've just been, you know, keeping our head held high, you know, having a lot of pride, a lot of beautiful pride, you know, precious pride. Not that, you know indignant, stupid, ignorant pride where you let your pride get in the way. No. We're moving in a place of just integrity and pride, Father God. Every last thing that we got on our wish list, we are manifesting it. We are using our energy and our skills. We're meeting you halfway on every single thing, Father God. And we're just obtaining and reaching every goal, Father God. And we're just so thankful. We're thankful for the strength. We're thankful for the energy. We're thankful for just allowing us to just continuous to have continuous movement in our life, Father God. We are just open to every single opportunity. We're open to all doors. We're just so thankful, so thankful for the heavenly guidance that you have placed over our life, Father God. We thank you so much for being our best friend and um, our leader. So just continue to just, you know, have faith in us, Father God, as you know we have, you know, undeniable faith in you father god please give us the guidance that we're looking for today that we need to receive for the sign of scorpio amen amen and amen all right so scorpio we have ooh, okay we have the tea leaf cards here y'all know that i love these cards so we're going to use these for the general energy we're going to get three from this deck and three from this deck so let's go ahead okay we all ready okay we got the teapot it said deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Oh. There's some tea going on. There's some tea brewing about a deep friendship that you have with someone of the same sex. Let's see what's going on. We got the eagle. Triumph over trouble and obstacles. All right. All right. Overcoming something. All right. Let's see. Oh. And then we got the cobweb. And then we got the mountain. Protection from negative energy and forces beyond your control. All right now, Father God. We thank you. We thank you. Major challenges to overcome. Mountain. So, I don't know. I'm getting here, uh, Scorpio. I don't know if there's a... This mountain in this teapot. How that just dropped right there. I don't know if there's a major challenge to overcome here with a someone that you have a deep friendship with that's the same sex i don't know this could be like a friend uh a colleague from work anything like that but someone of the same sex scorpio looks like there's a a challenge to overcome here but it looks like you're gonna try up over these i feel like you're just gonna fly above it honestly and it looks like God is protecting you from negative forces beyond your control. I don't know if that is the whole T. 
Because from what I'm getting here, I don't know if the T is like there is some type of obstacle right here with some issue that you have with a friend of the same sex. But I feel like instead of you forcing yourself to acknowledge it or pay attention to it, I honestly feel like you're just triumphing over your troubles with that person and you're just flying above it. I feel like you're, you're flying above it. And that's like God... I feel like God is trying to tell you don't waste your energy on that. Fly above. God is protecting you from negative forces beyond your control. And I definitely feel like that's why God is telling you to fly above. So that's interesting. Let's put that over there. Let's see what we got coming on over here. Alright. So we got Scorpio. March 2021. Thank you. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, we got the perch bird. Oh, Lord, y'all. Somebody watching and paying attention to you real hard. Waiting for news, a package, or a letter. Every time when I see this perch bird, I always feel like, and it, and it most definitely could be you, Scorpio. And I definitely feel like it's you. You, you guys are definitely waiting for some news, some information. Um, you're waiting for some type of acceptance letter, an award letter. That's what you're looking for. An invitation of acceptance of, you know, an offer or something like that. Like, that's what you're waiting for. You could be checking your email. You could be a perch bird waiting for something. But I don't necessarily feel like, I don't feel like it's Scorpio. I don't feel like it's Scorpio. I don't. Protection from negative forces beyond your control. I feel like whoever that is with that energy right there is the damn perch bird. Now, what is this to just drop down? Oh, and then you got the ear. You got the ear that just spelled out and it says good news. Purge bird, wait in for news, a package, or a letter. Some good news. Some good news is coming, Scorpio. So, pay attention to your mail, your email, packages and stuff. And I don't know about y'all, but I love me some Amazon packages coming in. So, come on. Listen, y'all check out that Amazon wish list that this... <laughs> Y'all check out that Amazon wish list if this video resonates. Hello, Charlotte. Hello. Okay, hello. <laughs> I love me some packages. Woo! And you got the pig. Beware of greed. What is going on with that? Clarify the pig. I need one more father guy. Now, you know, you couldn't just throw that on me and I wasn't going to get another one. All right. And with the pig, you got a woman. Dylan's or relationship with a woman. This has something to do with some female Scorpio. I don't know if y'all are in like a same-sex relationship or something like that. Or if someone has some type of... Mm, I don't know if it's someone that has some type of same-sex desire or interest. I don't even know if it's even that deep. But whatever it is, it's like you're being protected from this person. A deep friendship with someone of the same sex. And here goes beware of greed in Dylan's or relationship with this woman. So I don't know, Scorpio. This could be a male Scorpio too. I don't know. Are you dealing? Mm -hmm. We about to see. We about to see. Because I don't feel like... Um, on a female, if this is a female Scorpio, I feel like this is news of something good that you've been waiting on it's like have a report um an invitation a job offer a payment coming through a packet it's something like that for a woman you know what i'm saying and you're not paying attention to any type of negativity or any type of issues whatever energy whatever energy that is negative or you feel like it's coming with a whole bunch of baggage or issues you're just dropping it and you're soaring above you're just like not even paying attention to that um and if it is something that has something to do with a woman, it could be that I it's saying somebody feels entitled to you. Someone feels entitled to something that you have, something that you are, something that you did, something that you became, or something like that. It's like, beware of greed. Whoever this person is, and if this is a male, I, this could be someone that is, like, being greedy, wanting to acquire and communicate and having a listening ear, perch bird, waiting for 
some good information to come from this woman or something like that. I don't know. We're definitely about to find a fuck out. <laughs> Let's find out what's going on. Let's go into the numerical oracle first. Curve card is for Scorpio. I feel like someone is completely ignoring some type of issues that they have with a friend. Good gracious. They got a physical activity and then communication. So, alright. It's like someone needs to decide like if you're going to actually make that physical effort to like communicate or not. Like you need to figure out what it is that you want to do, what what it what you want to do, and what it is that you're stand on, and actually make you know some type of direction towards that. Physical activity could actually have to do like someone you know knowing that they need to exercise, you know, exercise the right to just communicate again, exercising the right to communicate. Um, hmm. I feel like someone is trying to decide right now if they want to exercise the right to communicate with someone or not. Um, and again, someone is soaring above it. I don't feel like they are. I feel like they're just... <laughs> I feel like they're moving past whatever that is. It's like there's no point of negotiating or just trying to discuss something. Clarify this physical activity for me. Give me one card for physical activity, please. Clarify the best use of this physical activity for Scorpio. Okay, so I guess we got two cards. Three cards. So let's flip it over. Let's see. We got the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is like, again, like I said, you need to figure out if you want to express yourself with this person or not. And if you don't, you don't have to. And just stand on it. Whatever your decision is, just stand on it. This is about you protecting yourself. And again, protection from negative forces is beyond your control. You could be not talking to someone right now, Scorpio, because you feel like there's some negative energy. And there's like some type of challenge or whatever that's going on. Like, clearly, there's a mountain in between you and someone that is of the same sex that could be your friend. And I definitely feel like you're doing whatever you... If you're not exercising the right to communicate is because you're protecting yourself and you're doing it for good reason and I don't feel like you feel like you have to explain yourself to a motherfucking person you're not about to ling linger in no shadow you're not about to catch me off guard you're not about to do nothing it's like someone put like a protection spell protection boundary against them and that person and it could and it might not even have been your doing it might have been you just literally saying god i released this thing and like god blocked that shit it's like god did it you know what i'm saying so it's like to me this is like someone being heavily guarded and protected and standing their ground on something and not letting someone cross a boundary with them you know what I'm saying? Like, if you could say, you could look, you could do whatever you want to from over there. As long as you don't cross this goddamn pathway right here, me and you cool. You know? Like, honestly, that's what I'm getting. That is truly what I'm getting. Um, And then with this, this moon right here and the moon phases and stuff like that, um, I feel like this, someone has been phased out. It's like... Whatever it was that they have has taken its course and um, I definitely feel like something has, um, like a cycle is, 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 is failing to continue. Um, but these red clouds, this red background with these clouds and stuff like that, um, I definitely feel like there is some very passionate energy behind people's feelings in regards to why they feel the need to set a boundary and to protect yourself from somebody you know and that's just on period like they've gone through whatever cycle they were supposed to go through with this person in their life and right now you know they're just it is what it is the prince of cups it looks like whoever this is is following their dreams they're following their heart they are like in the mind of like I don't know, like, I feel like this person is fell in love with 
something else like finally having some type of courage or um freedom or creativity it's like they are I, someone is standing their ground and blocking unnecessary sources out unnecessary energy sources out so they can feel free to travel along and to pick up new aspirations new goals i feel like it's some type of focus on self and what they love and the love and the type of energy and the type of people that they're trying to attract to their self it's like this person's energy is so freeing and so flowing and so loving and like the people that they're coming across is so free and so focused and so loving creative just like them spoken words spoken heart like whatever it is it's like this person's vibration is creating and, and attracting who and exactly and what they are at this time and this point of their life. Everything else is being blocked out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done, did, I done went through those phases. I done went through those cycles. We done spent many moons with each other. But right now, like, I, you know, like how people say, I don't bend, I don't break for nobody. I'm solid as a rock. I'm not bending down to keep trying to appease or even trying to explain myself why this is over and this chapter of my life is done and it's over. But it is. I feel free to move on. And I love myself for doing this like that. That's kind of what I'm getting here. And then you got the hangman. This hangman, the hangman, you got to always remember the hangman is when God secludes you from a situation of chaos for you to see shit for what the fuck it is. When you so close and you right next to somebody and you right next to somebody, you can't really, you still got those, those, those rose colored glasses on because you still love the person and you still love the situation and you're still in it so you can't clearly understand what everybody else is seeing from the outside looking in at your situation sometimes God has to remove you and allow you to see exactly what it is or exactly it is what you were doing or watch that person do what they were doing to you to somebody else or even their self for you to be like, oh, I was hanging around that. I was doing that. That was my boyfriend. That was my girlfriend. That was my best friend. That's the group of people I was hanging around with at work. Oh, for real? Oh, no. Oh, mm-mm. Like, do, are y'all getting the picture? Are y'all getting the picture? This is someone here that willingly... Like surrendered to God and was like, I don't know if you guys put up a boundary and just went on. Maybe didn't necessarily understand why. And if you pay attention, do you see those octopus? You see how the octopus is trying to grab the horse's legs and drag it back down like on some crab in the barrel ass shit? Like... That's exactly what God was protecting you from, Scorpio. Again, protection from negative forces beyond your control. I really do feel like there's some people having a day were jealous of you or something. Because I don't. Mm. Okay. Give me guys a chance here, Bob. Clarify. Um the bird in the air something coming to you and it seems like it's going to be good clarify oh you got the three of cut i'm trying to tell y'all it's a renewal it's a celebration like i don't know if you guys are being invited to a party a gathering like a group setting or something like that but whatever it is it is definitely going to be a cause to celebrate you're possibly going to reconnect with some old faces or just be able to do something that you miss doing like you you being able to do this again you're able to create again i don't know if you um have got your creative spark back or you're just able to kind of like open yourself up to like the new social norm i don't know if you've been uh kind of closed in and kept to yourself and it's like now you're ready to come out and just for people to know your name, um, you know, you know, it's like um, rubbing shoulders with 
it's like old colleagues. Like, they're saying old colleagues. Like, I don't know if these are old people that you knew from a job you used to work at or something. I feel like you bumping into a lot of old, familiar, friendly faces. And, um, I, I don't know. I feel like these people, um, ooh. Are y'all seeing this? This is a good group of people to be around, right? It looks like nothing but happiness, love, positive energy flowing. And if you want love, don't you think that you would need to be in an environment where people are loving, people are enjoying themselves, people are having positive relationships? That's why I really do feel like that's why you had to cut off old friends and old shit. Because it wasn't nothing positive. The motherfuckers wasn't happy. People was not wanting and willing to do and sacrifice and do what they needed to do to be happy. You go on. You don't understand? You go on, okay? <laughs> and you're, you be great in your lavender, okay? If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go on YouTube and type in the search engine, you be great in your lavender. I swear to God, you going to die. <laughs> you go on. You be great in your lavender. All right, now come on, give me guidance over here with um this this woman with the pig and all this stuff, cause I don't, I don't know. Y'all have to help me. Oh, the ten of swords again. Like I'm trying to tell you, someone feels betrayed. They feel backstabbed. Like you just left them and didn't even turn back. It's like the situation is completely dead and over. And this person, I really do feel like um. Someone feels like you betrayed them. Someone feels like you betrayed them. I want to say it's some level of shock or something. It's like you turned your back on me and just kind of left me and didn't even care about how I was getting along, what was going on with me, my struggles, how I was, and you just went on. It's like you went on and you just started having new friends and being so you just you know and it could be like I don't know if it's like this person hates you or something but it's like you know okay okay let's see what energy is coming off of this let's get it new that clarify this tennis war it's like how does this person feel beware of Mm. the star and the prince of pentacles so it's like I f this person sees you believing in yourself being the star it's like you're full with faith and you're strong you're learning new it's like you're advancing yourself in life like it's something like you love being, whoever this person is, they love being an apprentice. They love learning. It's like you're rubbing shoulders with all of these new people, sucking up all of this information and things like that. You're feeling full of yourself. It's like you're all about spirituality and tra-la-la, faith and abundance and happiness and prosperity and chakras. You know? You all spiritual and shit. You all believing in yourself and shit. You all getting all these new fucking opportunities and shit. Well, fuck you. Because I'm, cause I'm sitting over here. Listen, I'm going through all of this shit. But listen, the whole thing that Scorpio was saying is like, Scorpio wanted to be happy. Scorpio wants to be around people that wants to be around people. <laughs> Like, I want to be around people that want to be around people that are living their best life that's out celebrating. I want to learn new skills. I want, like, I want to network. I want to be, I just want a good life. Like, I don't want, I don't want to keep going through the same shit. 
And if it's motherfuckers that want to keep going through the same shit, they keep going through the same shit. And I feel like with this hangman right here, it's like Scorpio had to see the more and more you keep hanging around people that's going through drama, that keep a lot, that keep going through all of this shit, and allowing motherfuckers to keep doing shit over and over and over and over and over. Like, you might have watched this motherfucker get stabbed in their back over and over and over and over and over by their baby father, by other friends, by this, this, and that, and they just be allowing shit to go on. That's not Scorpio. That, but legitimately, that's not Scorpio. And then, like, Scorpio was like, why the fuck am I hanging around people like this? And then I'm wondering why ain't no abundance of good shit coming around me. Look at who the fuck I'm hanging around. Nah, I'm going ahead and cut that shit off. That phase of my life is done. I'm good. And as soon as you started trying to go the way, look, here, this motherfucker wish your negative energy trying to snatch you back down. And look, your horse kicked the fuck out of him. Like, get the fuck on, bitch. You couldn't pull me down if you, you could not pull me down with the best motherfucker hocus pocus, bitch. <laughs> you could not. Bitch, you better go on and fucking, <laughs> you better go on somewhere and go and jump in the river. Scorpio, tell me what's going on with love. Tell me what's going on with love with the Scorpio. But Scorpio, I definitely feel like, listen, nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up. <laughs> I'm on the way up. I'm on the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up. Give me goddess of love with Scorpio. Listen, you got the family card. Come on. Now, Scorpio, y'all know a lot of people been having them fertile birthing hips around the road. It's time to Scorpio. Scorpio. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Listen, Scorpio. Ooh. <laughs> Scorpio said, bitch, I have no regrets for cutting these motherfuckers out of my life. I don't give a fuck. But y'all already know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I know y'all laughing with me in the name of Jesus. Listen, Scorpio said, as long as my family is okay, I don't, I'm glad. Listen. That's why God is my best friend. Thank you for being a friend. Doom, 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 doom. Travel down the road and back again. Boom, boom. My heart is true. You're a pal. Listen, you're a pal and a confidant. I will smudge the fuck out of a fucking guy out of my life. Listen, as long as my family is good. Listen, listen. Protected from negative forces beyond your beyond your control. I'm protected from negative forces beyond my control. I sleep light, okay? I sleep really light. I sleep very, very easily. It is very easy for me to lay down and rest my head and enjoy a good night's sleep, baby. I don't. I ain't worried about a nah, another motherfucking child. I don't worry about child, please. It ain't a motherfucker that I done got rid of that I motherfucking regret, okay? That I even think of, bitch, okay? I don't even know what the fuck you look like. I don't even know how the fuck you wear your hair right now, bitch, okay? I don't even remember what the fuck your face look like. I don't know if you had a pimple or birthmark on the left side or the right side, bitch. I don't care, okay? Scorpio said we don't give a fuck, okay? Listen, it's spring. come on. Springtime about to be sh-popping and dropping. Come on, Scorpio. Listen, Scorpio said we ready for the springtime. It ain't a motherfucker hoe that I walked away from that I won't, that I regret, that I think about. I'm focused on my family. I regret nothing. Tell me if that ain't a Scorpio for you, bitch. I listen to, okay? I am reloaded. Say it with me. I already know it. Okay? We are reloaded. Give us guidance for Scorpio and love, and then we about to wrap this the hell on up, because y'all done did me, Scorpio. Y'all did me. It's the Scorpio for me. <laughs> it's the Scorpio for me. It's just the whole Scorpio reading for me. <laughs> it's the whole thing. Give me goddess for Scorpio and love for March. Thank you so much. 2021. Oh, the party has just begun, baby. Oh, oh, listen. <laughs> Oh, oh, y'all, listen, we got the horns, we got the dominance, Scorpio said we ain't come here to play with y'all, and listen, the hat, we wearing a whole new roll out this bitch, we ain't come to play with y'all at 
all we did not come to play. We dominant. We taking control. We listen. We don't have. We don't have it to do with y'all, especially not this spring, y'all. So I'm letting y'all know, Scorpio. Mama got a brand new bag. Mama got a brand new bag. Let's wrap this up. Okay. Ooh. You got the king of hearts. Yes. Ooh, and you got the shaking hand. So you're definitely making new connections. And you know, the king of hearts is uh, a very loving and hmm, flirty individual. Someone I'm, I will talk you right out your panties. I ain't even lying. All right. Oh, and then you got the money safe and the three of diamonds. So look. The three of diamonds represents like someone, and especially with the with the hand here, the hand to hand indicates, um, what? It says the fresh. It says the hand hand to hand indicates, um, come finding disc positions when in close proximity. It means a friendship will warm into love when near. It says, when near 45, favor will be found with superiors. When near the 48, financial success. This is the 48 right here. Financial success. And then this is the money safe. The money safe indicates riches. If shut, if the shut side is towards the person, it denotes loss by speculation. But we're not reading the whole damn thing. The three of diamonds represents like some type of financial help or generosity. It means like, um, it even means like a small amount of money. Like, that's just like y'all getting a stimulus check. So, <clears throat> excuse me, what everybody about to get? $1,400 or whatever. So that's like, that ain't like $50,000. But $1,400 is a nice little amount of money. So, you know, I definitely feel like, but this don't have anything to do with stimulus. This has to do with this over here. You making these connections. And remember, I told you to purge bird, waiting for news, a package, a letter, good news. And you see right here with the three of cups, like you hanging out, meeting new people, just being in the right space with the right people. You're going to shake the right hands and someone's going to help you into a really, really good financial position. So don't be scared to meet new people, you guys. <clears throat> It's going to bring a lot of money and success into your life. But then you have <clears throat> you have an ace of spades. So what that is basically telling me, Scorpio, you're definitely going to have an issue. Or there's someone, I don't feel like that you have an issue. There's definitely someone that has an issue with you for the fact that you have just cut a lot of shit out of your life. And you moved on and you just started a new beginning and you did not include them in it. So there is someone beeping with you as I feel like there's a fight of brewing on it. It, it. it means the rapporteurs warns us against assaults, which threatens and will occur sooner or later, according to the distance from the person. So like, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you, your ace of spades is when you just completely just like ended something for good reason. And you didn't look back. <laughs> if you look back, you're going to turn into a pillar of salt. You understand? The Ace of Spades is traditionally the death card, but it's rarely a physical death. Death and rebirth. Ending and new beginnings. Transformation. A major life change. The skull, the mind. Important decisions that bring change. Okay? Worry. Anxiety. So, I don't think this is you. I feel like this is you that started the Ace of Spades, but that worry and anxiety, they don't have nothing to do with you. But at the same time, y'all watch y'all back. There's a friend here that definitely has an issue with you, you guys. So, Scorpio, this has been your reading. If this resonates, hit the like button. Y'all make sure that y'all like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all next month. Peace.